open up, baby. Just good enough, baby. Oh, what the? Press the wrong button again. Nope, stop. Go back. Okay. Oh, that didn't change anything at all. Up, honest Tom. Jackpot sack. A shame, but our old time all American sightseeing tour just came to an end. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. Oh, well, there's an old story, folklore. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. She had a red dress on. She was a goddess. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> may take a while is a bit of an understatement. Okay. Frame rate sounds looks all right. Sound sounds all right. Flashlight is a thing. I got about hour and a half. About an hour rounded down to uh, get to the diner. Wrong button. So until then, I'm gonna fuck around. Maybe go fishing. Flashes of lights. Zach, picking up from where we left off, to recap, the movie was the fourth sequel of a series that started in 1978. That's right, Zach. It was Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Lex Luthor was back. It was played by Gene Hackman. That alone made it a must for all us fans. Oh, God damn it! I don't remember much more about it, though. I'm sure there was more trivia about it. Still forget four. Richard Donner directing one and two. Now those two were great movies. Christopher Traffic the shot can. The Superman. Crashing into Actually, walls because I, I can. I've got a confession to make. I promise not to tell anyone because I'd be really pissed. I actually like the first two Superman movies more than the first two Star Wars movies. I think John Williams did a better job with the theme song for Superman. But whenever I try to hum it, it always turns into the Star Wars song somewhere along the way. What the hell? I know it's strange, Zach. Son of a bitch didn't even signal! So, Zach, which Richard Donner Also, I had the right of way! Pull him over! Terror. Take some time. Bitch! <laughs> okay, alright, stop. You know what? I'm gonna make this guy's life a little bit more miserable. Stopping you. Game up and give me motion signal. Stop! 
Please! Okay, I'm gonna get out of the car here. I know exactly where I am. By a puddle of debris. Okay, car. Don't move. Gotta collect my some trading cards. Where is it? Oh, wait, where is it? Is it in here? Sup, Sharkhead? Welcome to the stream, brother. Hope your days are going great. Oh, there it is. I want my card. Rosy Lips Gina. Noise. Give me that $200. <laughs> Jackpot. Alright, let's see if they have Agent Honor in there. No? No? Gotta reload. Skip. I learned. This is something I discovered recently. I'm gonna try not to. Peace. Wait. What was that? Oh my god. Honestly, this game is gonna give me motion sickness. What game is this? This is Deadly Premonition. I'm playing it on the Switch. <laughs> this might be. This might easily be. Uh, uh, top 10 favorite for Trent Donner movie on the day they premiered. Every single one. Goonies. Lost Boys. The Lethal Weapon series. But my favorite has to be Lady Hawk. That was back in 1985. Same year as Goonies. Both Red Rick Howard and Michelle Pfeiffer really shine in that one. But more than anything, it's the story setting that was really good. A love story about a cursed knight oh, yeah, that changes into a wolf at night. Cursed maiden that changes into a hawk during the day. Very romantic. Don't you think so, Zach? They can only be together at dusk, <clears throat> right between day and night. Together as humans for only a brief moment. Perfect setting for a fantasy movie. Hmm. I just had a thought, Zach. I really like those movies that have women changing into animals. <laughs> can you tell which movie I just remembered? That's right, Zach. With Nastasia Kinski in the lead role. That was a fantastic movie. But I better concentrate it's on driving. Closed. We'll finish really? this later. Alright. Whatever. Who wait dang. I understand this game this game is set in a small town, but it's one minute to eight and they closed up the police station. <laughs> also, I need to like Google all the movie conversations that the character have in this game and just like watch all the movies. See what it's actually like. It's 8 o'clock. I have to wait one more in-game hour to continue my progress in the game. Drugen, welcome to the stream, brother. Hope your days are going great. Uh, yeah. Alright, time to cut corners. <laughs> Handles like a dream. <laughs> <You bitch. laughs> Alright, let's hit up the bar. See if I can gather some information. I swear, it's 8 o'clock. It better be open. I'm gonna be upset if it isn't. Alright, we're good. Stop. Get out of the beat. Also, how's the sound quality? Like, game sound, voice sound, music sound, are any of those too loud or quiet? If it is, you just let me know. I don't remember parking that way. Alright. No need to peek when I can just get in there. It's the same sh. It's a shame one of the my regular viewers is missing this. For a horror game, this is pretty GTA-like. I mean, if GTA was curb stomped until there was, like, its identity changed, yeah, it's acceptable so far. That's very good. You mean, you're talking about the sound quality, right? Anyway. <sighs> Go away. Where were you on the day of the murder? Wow, right in right in the bar, <laughs> where where everybody could hear me talking to a suspect. <clears throat> You're in the bar. Did you see Diane and Nick here that day? I can't say I, I can't say that I remember. This is very important. Please try to remember. Sorry, I don't remember. All right. Well, if you do, please contact the sheriff's department. Very well. Oh, about. Galaxy of Terror. That's the name of the bar, by the way. This what kind? Of, who names a bar 
Galaxy of Terror. I know who. Sweary, the maker of this game. That's who. Uh, you know that Robert... Robert... England? England? Was one of the crew... You know what else he was in, right? Wait, is he talking about- Oh my god, he's fucking talking about movies to a suspect! God damn it! <laughs> Come on, Agent York! Help me out here! That's true. <laughs> what? Just stop moving your mouth. Yeah, I'd say the same thing if I was a, if I was like a possible suspect. Don't you like movies? Stay on focus, Agent York! <laughs> I don't like you. You know what? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Thomas! <laughs> I want to talk to you about movies too. You work as a bartender at night? Yes, well, man, this is a- he is a good boy. It's my sister's bar, but she can't do everything by herself. Yeah, she's too busy singing a song. How's business? Not great after, well, you know, somebody got brutally murdered. But people are bouncing back. They're carrying on with their lives slowly but surely. So professional. I know. <laughs> he is the best boy. <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan is one of the best FBI agent. Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. FBI Special Agent that I've ever seen in any FBI Special Agent media. Ever. <coughs> but I'm still finding it's hard. But I'm still finding it hard to work at the sheriff's. I feel so sad. Well, He's an angel. <laughs> Everyone deals with grief differently, that's all. Don't worry about it too much since... Well, since I'm here anyway, how about making a cocktail? Dude, I Wait, what the fuck? Agent York! You're on duty! You can't drink! I'll make you something extra special for you, Agent York. Mmm. Oh, I, I, I gotta buy it? Oh, oh so there's something else about this game. If you got, If you don't know... For some reason, any items, consumables that I can buy have been ridiculously expensive. Like, I I don't know why it is, but for also some reason, um, cars are very cheap in relative to the foods that I can buy. <laughs> I'll show you when I have the time. Try to forget work for a while and take it easy. All right. Holy shit! Wait, wait, wait. I don't know much about booze. Is is 450 for gin and tonic expensive or cheap? Is not almost ten dollar for a martini expensive or cheap? Like these are things that I don't know. It'll keep me from getting sleepy for a long time. What the fuck? Aren't alcohol mostly like a downer? Right, whiskey is twenty sixteen dollars. The Exorcist is nine dollars. I'm rounding everything up. <coughs> Pan pancakes are four dollars. I think that's kind of expensive for pancakes, depending on how much pancakes I get. Uh, pizza is twenty. Okay, once again, I don't know what size it is, what kind of topping I can add. Oyster stew, stew is fifteen. Pumpkin muffin is six dollars. Well, let me rephrase that: seven dollars. <laughs> what do you put in that muffin other than pumpkin? Okay, I can't read the last word. Whitefish, min, min, I, I don't, I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. You kidding me? It's fifteen dollars though. Expensive AF dogs. They mix them with Red Bulls. Oh, I guess, but how, how, how does that work? Like, alcohols are a downer, but Red Bull is a stimulant. So, like, do they just kind of cancel each other out? I guess it depends on like. What you add more of, like if you add more booze, it's going to be more of a downer, less of a stimulant kind of thing. Mashed potato, $6. That, that's kind of cheap. You know what? I, I, I shouldn't be drinking, so I'm going to buy some mashed potatoes and consume it. Mm. You ate a lot. Mm. And it filled me up only that much. Stimulants are stronger than depressants. Got to remember this is only one of the two. Got to remember this is only one to two shots of that. Fair enough. That's good to know. Wait. Wait. But none of these none of these mention Red Bulls or a stimulant. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's finish ordering. Are there any uh, anybody else that I can talk to? I can't climb up small slopes. 
because I'm a special agent. Also, he's got a quest? Hello? Or a side quest? Oh, no, never mind. Talk, yeah. <sighs> Thomas, something on your mind? Actually, Agent York, something has been bothering me recently. Bothering you? How? Well, there's this customer who always gives Carol trouble. Is it affecting business? He probably doesn't mean to, but, well, yes, to answer your question. You're an officer of the law. Why don't you just arrest him? Well, you see, he's not exactly breaking the law. No <laughs> violence. He hasn't physically attacked her or anything. I understand, Thomas. <laughs> if it's bothering you, then I'll take care of it. What? Aren't you busy with the investigation, Agent Pretty York? Much. That won't be a problem. So tell me about this unwanted customer. Well, he isn't here right now. He usually comes oh, in after 2100. Really? I'll take a look in from time to time. Okay. All right. So I have to somehow manage to snipe both my main quest and the side quest that I want to do. Hold on, B. All right, Thomas. Oh, wrong button. Let's get out of here. Elliot, the word at home is made by made by Japanese guy. Uh, yeah, made by a Japanese guy who got all of his knowledge of American culture by looking at the cover of L.A. Noir. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. I love it. Like I said, this is, this is probably like top 10 favorite game. Not because it's well made. In fact, it's the exact opposite on why I love this game so far. Oh my god. Anyway, let's get in there. Hmm. All right. Hold on. I'm gonna try to wait. Are there any like? I swear I thought I saw a vending machine around right here. Anyway, I'll look for a vending machine and show you guys how expensive food can get for somebody. Not even food. Not even food, just consumables. I think. Oh wait, the police station is closed, so I can't even get in. Mother! Handles like a dream. Nastasia Kinski in the lead role of Paul Schrader directed back in 1980. We don't need to see that's what we're going to About a woman who turns into a leopard when she falls in love and then eats the person she loves. Especially when, uh, when the car drives a race from like so. Nastasia was perfect for that role. Casting her made that movie a success. Alpha McDowell as her brother was also a good call. He's like a character even without any of that special Hollywood makeup. Uh, now the new Malcolm spooky in non-conventional ways. <laughs> you know the movie I'm talking about, right, Zach? Don't tell me you're thinking about Clockwork Orange. Okay. Malcolm McDowell, come on. It's pretty obvious. I'm, I'm gonna let Blue Agent York finish this conversation first, and then you have the car. 1983. It was directed by John Bat. Malcolm plays the bad guy in that one. He just totally outshines the hero, Roy Scheider. At least I think so. I have to say, not many people agree with me about Blue Thunder. Boy, I should probably back up. Zach, if you disagree with any of my opinions about movies, just come out and speak your mind. Okay? Just speak your mind. Sure thing, Agent York. Anyway, all right. I'm going to buy some candies and, you know, muffins or whatever. <clears throat> so, the alcohol in that bar was fairly priced. I'm going to check out the vending machines. All right, for some reason, lollipops are more expensive than whatever drinks that they were serving at the Galaxy of Terror. It's $25. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookie, singular, is $30. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. You get you get times four. Never mind. You get a, <laughs> a pack of five lollipops for $24. Uh, chocolate chip, pack of four chocolate chip cookie for $30. <laughs> <laughs> and pack of four crackers for $35. <laughs> Why is it so expensive? <laughs> I'm not buying any of these. <laughs> I love this game. And look at the My car is clipped into the ground. <laughs> I love this game so much. <laughs> plural. <laughs> yeah, it's plural. You get times four, but it's for some reason it's ridiculously expensive. Some of the worst sound designs in, the, in any video games that I've played, too. That's why I love it. <laughs> oh, also, I could, like, the car controls are kind of all over the place, too. Like, I can turn on the, like, the headlights. I could also put my wipers on, <laughs> turn them off, turn my signal lights on. 
that. All right, I'm gonna check out the other houses because I still have an hour to wait. That house is closed. Controller. <coughs> yeah, it's in the U.S. Greenvale, U.S. I think it's a fictional town of some sort. Okay, that house is closed. Where do I even go now? I got an hour to wait. Oh, also, there's uh, something else I, know I wanted to check out. But first, let's check the house that I'm approaching on. I want to see approaching. I'm going to stop right about now. Oh, it's like a mansion. That's spooky AF. It looks pretty close, though. <coughs> Just go to Walmart. Sorry, it's a small town, so none of that exists. Also, I'm going to have to apologize for the back button sound effect. When I inevitably get to it, it sounds atrocious. Sound designed <laughs> at 50 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the sick... Oh, yeah. Uh, Agent York is a bit of a smoker. He'll smoke. <laughs> yeah. This for the car sound design. That's about accurate. But yeah, um, he's a heavy smoker. Literally, he he smokes heavy cigarettes, <laughs> as stated in the package. It says uh, it'll make you forget that time time is going by. Does that does that mean that it's going to make the time go faster or slower? I'm about to find out. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go back. Oh. Oh, shit. Wow. This game basically came up with, uh... If you guys haven't played Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain... Yeah, yeah, it's Phantom Pain. They basically have the same thing, except, uh, there's... There, in this game, there isn't a lady singing her hearts to her heart's content. Yeah, that's... That's our point. Oh, wait, go back. Wait, go back. No, Agent York, get back in the car. We need to go to the diner. Soul is smoking animation. <laughs> That's what makes this game great. I love it. Normally, I hate a game for being this atrocious, but for some reason, it this game makes it work. It's so charming, it hurts. All right, it's 9.16, so I can make it in time. People don't know how to follow the rules of the road, including myself. And... The visual graphics are messed up too. Wait, hold on. Stop! Stop, 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 stop. Check out that moon. That's the moon. That is a big ass moon. I've seen big moons, but never that big. The brakes turn. Somebody behind me? Whatever. Hit the brakes. Get out of the car. I'm gonna skip the animation. I'm pressed for time right now. Let's continue the story. <gasps> Agent Honor! I gotta pick that up in a second. <coughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. Pick that up. Oh, the bar is, or the restaurant's closed. There you go. Story time. Oh, Emily's here too. Well then, Olivia, talk to me. Y yes. <coughs> Wait. In I'm the gonna beginning, go back to the bar. Nick only went to the gallery during the day, but he went so often at some point he became friendly with Diane. They started going out drinking together, and now he doesn't come home until early morning. Sally says that they were only drinking when I asked. He blames me for not being able to talk about Turner and Rembrandt, which of course I can't, can I? So what can I say? I mean, I couldn't take it anymore, so I followed him. He did go to the bar, to start with. Diane was there too, but the real problem is where they go to next, right? 
So I waited outside the bar to see where they might go. And, and they eventually left the bar and headed for the art gallery. But it was, it was already early morning, but it was still dark. Just before going inside, Diane turned around. It should have been too dark to see me, but I swear, her eyes looked right at me. They seemed to flash for a moment. I was so rattled that I left and went home. The next day, Anna was found dead. I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I went to the gallery to talk with Diane about it, to confront her. But once I was there, I couldn't find the courage to go through with it. Then I saw you there, and I just felt I had to go home. Nick has been seeing Diane every night recently. He just left for tonight, too. I, I, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> York, we ought to take Nick in for questioning. No, not yet. This alone isn't enough. Emily, answer me. Oh. This is Emily. Agent York is with me, too. I've just received word from Thomas at the Sheriff's Department. Something has happened at Becky's house. Wait, who's Becky again? He was called in by Quinn, but he wasn't making any sense. We have no further details. I've sent Thomas over there. Can you go back him up? Yes, sir. Thomas. One other thing. It sounded like he said, raincoat killer. This may well be related to the murder case. Take all due precautions. No! It couldn't be! Nick? Oh, please, no! What can I do? Oh no, it's raining. Ah, shit! <laughs> Olivia, calm down. Emily, take care of Olivia. I'm heading over to bed. He's gotta put on his she poncho! In a big house over by the lake. Hurry! Don't worry, the shitty map marker is gonna tell me where to go. I'm serious. Wait, wait, help. We may have screwed up during the investigation. Really? That's where the chapter ends? Alright. <coughs> oh yeah, I... That's gonna be a permanent statement in my uh, perfect record. I had to continue six times because I was an idiot in my previous playthrough. In my last episodes. But I did kill uh, 118 ghosts with my gun. Another additional thousand fifty-five dollars. Slowly getting rich. I'd like to save, please. My game crashed last time, so I had to learn to save often. You better hurry, Zach. I have a bad feeling about this. Becky's house is by the lake. Put the waypoint marker there. It's twenty-two. Damn it! I missed it. The second sacrifice. Wait, hold on. I gotta put my wipers. <laughs> <laughs> Take the big road. Oh God, how does Ishi York do it? At the start. Oh shit! I have like infinite gas in the durability. Nice. I'm, I'm perpetually hydroplaning when I'm driving in this game. Hold on, I gotta... I don't, know, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Okay, where's my marker? Where... Where's my waypoint? What the... Yo, where's my waypoint? Side mission? Mission? Press A. Oh, I gotta... I gotta get this. Wait, 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 wait. How long do I have? An hour and 30 minutes. Okay. That's the back animation sound effect, and I hate it. High key. That's Keith's house, everybody's home. What's, who's 
What's this? Oh, okay. The gas station? Okay, that's where it is. Okay. I just had to move far enough. Oh my god. It's so far! Holy shit! Oh, I can pick up flowers there? Nice. <coughs> okay, now I need to, like, make route where I'm gonna go. Plot out my route routes. I just gotta take the big road. Oh, no. Holy shit, this place is so far. Wait, what? Where's my, where's my little marker? God damn it. Gotta go. Thanks for the stream. Hey, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. Me? I don't know. I'm right below. I go by right below. I just gotta go straight, turn left, and follow the road forever. Go straight, turn left, and follow the road forever. Stops on a dime too. I like that. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> Please! Agent York, just drive straight! <laughs> you don't have to jerk the wheel every time I turn the stick one micrometer. Holy shit. Stop. I, I know it's raining, I get that, but why am I hydroplaning so badly? <laughs> This car is having trouble too! <laughs> I can make it in time, I swear. I, I, I kinda wish Agent, Agent York would talk about police while I'm just in a rush. A big rush to find a murderer. No, I don't! Wait. Tell me, what did you see in there? <laughs> Was Becky <Ricky> dead? <laughs> Dev. Did Dev. you see the raincoat killer? Dev. 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 Thomas, did you see Nick here? Oh, Becky. No. When I got here, he was already like this. Call George and tell him to get over here. We out here. I'm going inside. All right. Once they both get here, follow George's orders. Okay? Yes. But Agent George, isn't it dangerous to go in there alone? Don't worry. Zach is with me. You got that right, Agent George. Zach, let me smoke one first. All right. Fine. I need to clear my head so I can take everything in. So I can start profiling. Seriously, that's a mechanic in this game. <laughs> what the hell is that sound? <sighs> Smell that? <sighs> the raincoat killer is here. Zach, they're here too. I had a nasty feeling about Let's hope it's not a big welcoming party. These are weird ass vines. Okay, let's let's go. 
Oh my god! Uh, evade! Damn it, I pressed the wrong button again. Oh. Let me dodge. Let me dodge. Evade! <laughs> All right. I didn't see. I didn't even see him there. Anyway, this is what happens when I have, when I'm more or less forced to use multiple different controllers from different consoles. Because I always get all my buttons mixed up. Y's on the left, A's on the right. Do I have to open the thing so slowly? Alright, take my first aid kit. Just... That smells like a clue. I, it closed by itself. That's twisted. Flashing lights. Okay, can I can I go through there? Is that a real fake door? Nope. I could sleep here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't need that because my starting gun is like the only thing I need. Why? A X B. <sighs> Wait, what? I didn't press. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Don't make me sleep. Make me sleep. Zach, that's a strange coincidence. Oh, okay. look. Red velvet. <coughs> Just like the place where Anna was murdered. Start profiling. See, I told you, I'm not kidding when I start profiling. I'm not insane. She got murdered by the raincoat <sighs> killer. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Probably like four pieces. Three pieces. My mistake. Observe. Red velvet. I could change my clothes here. Save. Definitely save. Just in case the game crashes again. Okay, I could choose left or right. I'm gonna go left. Nope, it's locked. That means I'm going right. Ooh. Oh, ghosts! Ghosts! Let me reload. Aim, lock on, fire! Fire at his butt! He doesn't like it when I do that. Stop teleporting. He didn't have came at me, teleported at me with those golf club. <coughs> Gets slacked. That's a real fake door. That's a real fake wall. Uh oh. Oh no. It's. It's music box in a scary game. So it's gonna be inherently scary. It's pretty spooky. I'm gonna slowly. Wait, can I, can I break these? Hold on a second. Yes, I can. I got Agent Honor. Hell yeah. 
I got a hot. Oh shit. Oh no, it's a spawning ground. Oh boy, that's a lot of spawning grounds. Pickups. What is it, 10 mils? Nice. Oh! Oh, shit! Shoot them, Agent Morgan! They can only teleport so fast. Oh, my God! Don't make me bust out the SMG, boys. Make me destroy you. Oh, God. Oh, what the hell? Get him off me! Get him off me! Where am I? Wait, I gotta crawl. Oh god. Am I gonna get locked up? Oh god. Don't get me stun locked. There's too many of them, Chief. There's too many of them. Fall back. Amazing. Bullseye. Yes. Great. Yes. Reload. Is that a band-aid? Hell yeah. Back off, fellas. Oh god, they're 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 coming uh, through the walls. That's kinda scary. Too bad Shark had got to miss this actual scary part. Even though it's not in there, that's scary. I'm sorry. I can't shoot you and you can't get through there. Okay, how do I... What can I do? Can I go through here? No. Go through there. It's a real fake door. Another real fake door. Oh, it, it, I don't remember fire being here. Here, I should, I should have reloaded. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Please, 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 thank you. And then the music box just abruptly stopped. I wonder if the ghost gets hurt by the fu fire. Oh my god! Stop! Stop. Stop! Great. Great. Nice shot. Bullseye. Yes. Make me manually aim, boys. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! That's terrifying! Holy shit! I blinked and it was all right up on my grills! Also, they, they can indeed take burn damage. Okay, that 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 definitely trivially trivializes things. Let me pick up my 10 mil rounds. All right, right, right through the fire, buddy. Right through the fire. There you go. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. So in this game, ghosts are very vulnerable to fire and bullets and blunt force trauma. Yes. Just a crazy ghost, man. Gotta tell you, oh my days. How many of you? Can I? Oh god. Oh, get him off me. Get him off me. This is what I get for trying to manage inventory in a minute during combat. Let me out. Let me through. I gotta bait him in the fire. Alright, boys. You know the drill. There you go. Are these gonna infinitely spawn? Yes. Alright. 
Does he just really want to live, huh? Okay. Oh my god, I got hurt by fire too. Great. 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 Oh my god, stop. Great. Amazing. They're shocking. There's no end to these guys. There's nothing in here. Wait, there was something in there. Cigarettes! In the freezer! <laughs> Not only is it heavy, it's also cold. Agent Honor? Hell oh, yeah. Swing around them and go through this door. It's a real fake door. I don't think I don't think ghosts can go through doors. So that's my one saving grace. Okay, that takes too long. I'm gonna have to sack my steel pipe for this. Get that agent honor. Always happy to see more band-aids. Oh, uh, you know what? Why not? Nice shot. Gun him down. Oh god, he's got a golf club. Yes. Great. Oh god. They're coming in too fast! Yes, yes. Guys, back up. Oh, golf club. Thank you. That'll definitely replace my pipe after I use both of them up eventually. Oh god, I, I think they're spawning. A lollipop! Thank you. Okay, I gotta go through there. This is a real fake door. Okay, so I have to go through there. Alright. Let's bust these guys up. What is it? Oh, 10 mils? My box is full, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm back on the first floor. Just on the left side. <sighs> huh? Can I show the mirror? Yeah. Upside down peace sign. I don't remember that seeing. Don't remember seeing that. Yeah, we just call it an upside down, upside down peace sign. Start profiling. Hell yeah. I mean, I gotta start profiling. There now, okay. Good to know. And ghosts are spawning. Oh, the music changed. All right. I'd hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to bust out the big gun. In relatively speaking. That's it. How oh, kind of underwhelming, but you know what? All right. Amazing. Okay.
Okay, the... Alright. Maybe I should make it a hard mode for myself by uh, only using, like, hard-to-use weapons, like the starter pistol, which is actually still the best weapon in the game, because it hasn't been in ammo. It's not locked. Or I should just use melee weapons, which has limited durability. Oh, okay. One-way street. Don't like the look of this, there's no way to open this one for now. Oh no, the music box sound is coming from inside this cupboard. Should we open it and look inside? <coughs> Let's do it! Oh, it's the seeds! Red seeds! That's my second. Start profiling? <sighs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so Becky was doped up to heck and back. She got murdered. Oh god, the door opened by itself. Is that Becky? I'll gun her down. She's a ghost now. Oh, look at her hand. That's huge. Ooh, sausage fingers. Oh, there's more. She had friends. Amazing. Never mind. They're both dead. I'm topped off. I'm only going to use my 9mm handgun FBI custom. Because SMG just kind of trivializes everything. <coughs> oh, I got to save. There is one saving grace for this game though, it's the instantly fast saving, it takes like a millisecond. Is it still locked? No. Have I been through here? Who knows? Oh god. It's, 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 it's the raincoat killer. Can I break this? Can I break this? No, I can't. Damn it. Can I break this? No, I can't. Damn it. I gotta go through that door. I gotta make sure to reload. Agent of honor. I'm gonna sneak in. Oh god. Uh, Y on the right. Why on the left? Y on the right. Okay. Oh god, I gotta hide. Wait, Agent York, what are you doing? Ah, oh, shit. Run! Oh man, not this again! Oh, I gotta- oh, that's right, I gotta hold my breath. Okay. I can't leave now. As soon as the prompt shows up, I'm gonna hold the hold breath button. This is what got me killed six times. Because I forgot to press a button. Just, just leave me alone. Leave me alone, Rainco Killer. Just leave me 
hello? Okay, he sees he sees the door that I'm hi the closet that I'm hiding in. My breath, hold ZR, press this thing until it breaks. Oh god, please, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hold my breath. I don't want to repeat this damn process. <sighs> my heartbeat's, heartbeat's going crazy now. Probably should have popped off my head. Oh god. Oh shit! He had another axe. Oh my god. Alright. I think I'm safe now. <coughs> Alright, that was kind of scary, not gonna lie. Where's the axe? Can I take it with me? Can I use it as a weapon? <sighs> Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. Okay, so he came through here. <gasps> Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking. The fruits of my effort. Okay, I can hide in here, I can hide in here. I can't open this, that's a real fake closet. This is a real fake door. <laughs> Look at all these crates. I hope one of them drops another steel pipe, because I'm kind of running low. Look at all these, are those 10 mils? Yeah, they are, <gasps> ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, ghosts! Manual aim only. Missed. Yes, bullseye, bullseye. Shot her at the deep of her neck. Great. Stay down. I have infinite ammo. Oh my god, please stop creeping up like that. Back up, back up, back up. Show yourself. Bullseye. Ten mils. Something. Oh my god, there's another one. Please stop. Chunky, chunky chunk ghost. Nice shot. Another ten mil. Okay, the spawning thing is gone now. Thank goodness. Chocolate chip cookies? Hell yeah! These things are expensive AF. And mil? What the hell is this? 5.56 mils? You know what? I'll take it. Oh, it's like a rifle! Holy shit! That's great. So I got. I can either go through here or go through here. The door's not locked, so I can open it. Door's not locked, so I can open it. Mm. You know what? I'll go through this door. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the same door. It doesn't matter. Can I shoot this couch? Great. Nope. <gasps> ah, shit! Why to dodge? Why to dodge? Oh, this again? God damn it. Oh, God. Run! Run faster, Agent York! Hey, it open! Run! Climb up! A little faster, Agent York! God damn! Why to dodge things? A to dodge things. Oh, thank God I got out of there in one piece. 
This is trash oil. <laughs> what Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> what up, Kyodai? <laughs> Hope your day's going great, brother! <laughs> what do you mean, trash? This is gold! <laughs> <laughs> Root beer! I'm sure that's really expensive too. Just jump. <laughs> Who opened the door? I did. I, Zach, has opened the door for Agent York. <coughs> oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure you were there when I died six times from like the hiding sequence. Yeah, I, I learned my lesson so I know how to get out. Like, you know, so I, I learned not to die. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's keep on trucking. I gotta get my third profiling. Oh shit, that's uh -huh. Becky's shirt. Oh yeah, somebody else died by the way. Um, Anna's friend, Becky, died. I think she hated me. Bloody camisole. What the hell's it? That's what a camisole is. Why don't I just call it like a tank? <laughs> Did either the police cop die? No. You mean three police cops. There's George, Thomas, and Emily, and none of them died. Uh, why to dodge? A to dodge? Oh, it's a golf club! Oh, thank god, it's not the raincoat killer. Just a golf club killer. Oh, thank goodness. Great. Bullseye. Great. That was yes. just a warning shot. So I have a crackpot theory. What if the raincoat killer just want to murder only women in town so they could turn the town of Greenvale into the ultimate man cave? No no girls allowed kind of thing. Oh, that's only one way. Ultimate gay bar pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Whew, I got out of there. <coughs> yeah, cuz so far two women died in the hands of one one Possibly one person. It's bad. Very bad, Zack. The raincoat killer gave Becky a visit. Hold on. Oh my god, that's so much blood. Holy shit. Wait, hold on. No, it's shower. It's a shower. shower. Yeah. Zach, the bathroom. Quick. Take me there. I, where's the bathroom? That's not the bathroom. <laughs> is the guy in the red coat the killer, or is he the? Is he just a henchman? I'm not too sure. We're about to find out after I pick up my stabilizer, cause I'm going insane. Observe. Becky's bed. The crime scene must be preserved. No napping for us here, Zach. That's a damn shame. Where the hell is the bathroom? I'd like to save first, please. Wait, what? It's a safe! Open! It's locked. I need a key to open it. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back to this thing then. Wait, what the fuck? I'd like to save, please. It won't. Oh, there. Oh, the phone is beside it. Alright. I know I have to go to the shower room real quick, but uh, I gotta I gotta take this call first. <laughs> Very important. Alright, why on the left? Why on the left? Did you pick up our Oh shit! I have one day to do it. I have one day to do it. I'll I'll pick it up after the stream. Also that stock shock sound. Holy shit, this now the sale we got. I'll just buy full price. I don't even really care. Oh my God, Anna or Becky? No. 
the raincoat killers to watch all the Saw movies. I thought the sale ended tomorrow. Guess not. She's still alive, holy shit, that's scary. Zack, she's still alive. I know, I just said that. This. Who was it, Becky? Why is it? I, I, uh, I, uh... Becky, what happened here? George, stay back. She's trying to speak. We don't have time, she's dying. Thomas, cut that wire. No! She, we must get her to the hospital immediately. What? Uh, don't do it. Uh, what? That's obviously true. What are you doing? Get out of the way. I'll do it. No, no. don't. George, stop. No. No. Oh my god, that's gonna get her killed. Stop. George! Come on, dude. <laughs> no. <clears throat> God damn it. Huh? good this time, Zack. Yeah? George, what the fuck were you thinking? I'm gonna look at that wrench. I'm gonna look at the toilet. Wait, can I hatch? Can I observe? Can I observe? Thomas threw up in there earlier. We don't want to... I'm gonna look inside. I, I can't see much. <laughs> George being like a mighty sus... I'm gonna talk. Observe. Quite a serious character, though he likes to show off and is too e eager to compete, which may be what it takes. Alright, George, what does it feel like? What the hell, even Becky have been killed. Yeah, you kind of assisted her murder. That's all you had to say? She turned into a tree. Oh, I thought she turned into a tree. Sorry. Oh, that. Wait, that's the shower curtain? Holy shit. That's what's masking it. So, what, are the twins gonna, I, I know I'm kind of breaking the mood right now, but is the twins, the little children gonna come around and say, Becky was the, the fairy of the bathroom. <laughs> she was a goddess of the bathroom. <laughs> Key for the safe. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Damn it, George. <laughs> That means, uh, all three cops must have come and seen this. How are they not shocked? <phone rings> Becky. <laughs> Sad life. Thomas, do you want to throw up again, bud? I'll help oh, you out. Oh. Th that's all you had to say? Beep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what Emily said. 
Wait, what the fuck? How do I get out? Wait, wait, wait. There has to be another door, right? What? Because that's the way to the back. Huh? Oh. I'll take the cigarette. No, I need the cigarette! Wait, was there another door to the door in the bathroom? What the? <coughs> she must have been terrified. A hor horrendous deal. We were too late to save her. I mean, all George had to do was not do that. Oh, that's right. The safe is right here. Ha ha ha. Alright. I wish, uh, but not butterscotch, uh, starfish was here to see this. It's a diary. It's empty. It's blank. <laughs> Guys, why are you looking at it? It's blank. Agent York was here. Circa 2020. <laughs> Where do you get that pencil? My dear sister, I'm so, so sorry. I was a fool to fall for a man like Why him. Why is his arm so crinkled? I don't have the words to apologize to Anna. Wait, wait. Hold on. I'll answer that in a bit. This is the big development. <clears throat> I left her there. She, she was, was suffering, suffering so much. And I just ran away. I know he wanted to kill me, too. But I'm not going to let him get away with this. I followed him after he was finished. He carried Anna into the woods. Anna was holding on to that precious locket of his. He couldn't remove it from her hand, even though she was dead. But she let go of it for me, though. It was like she gave it to me. So I brought it home. I might be able to bring Anna's killer down with it. I want you to see it. I know even he wouldn't dare to harm you. He'll catch me, though, if I go into town. I'm trapped in my house. So I've asked Isaac and Isaiah to deliver it. They totally believe that Anna became a goddess. I believe so, too. She looked so beautiful as though she might smile back at any moment. I have something else to confess to you. I borrowed a pair of your shoes without asking and broke the heel on one of them. I'll send them along with the locket. I'm sure the shoe can be fixed. The music just kind of stops there. So Becky is Miss Stiletto Heel, and she gave the locket to the twins. We better go and see her first thing tomorrow. I want to take that as evidence too, so the raincoat killers come back and find out. Emily, who might this sister be that Becky was referring to here? <laughs> that would be Diane. Didn't you know Diane and Becky were sisters? Oh shit! I should have known. <laughs> So, I'm pretty sure the reason why his arm is so crinkled is, is is because, you know, like, when you do laundry and you don't take out take it out of the machine, like, washer quick enough, it kind of, like, wrinkles up the shirt and clothes? Yeah, that's the same principle. <laughs> also, the reason why you can't hear him is because the music, music is loud, and that's what the subtitles are for. <laughs> oh, shit, it's FK! Forrest Kump! I don't know his last name. I forget his last name. <gasps> it shows Thomas throwing up. What the hell, dude? It's been a whole week and we haven't got we haven't made much pro progress. You know, if, if they sent a couple more agents, we would have been it that much quicker. <laughs> I have ten thousand dollars! Hell yeah! I'm fucking rich! Hell yeah, I wanna save. Yeah. I didn't know Becky and Di Miss, uh, what's, what's her face? Oh, Zach View. 
Previously during the investigation. I'm Kason. Kason, that's his last Thomas, name. Thomas, did you see Nick here? <coughs> I, I, uh, no. I, uh, when I got here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. She's trying to speak. No! It could be! Nick! Oh, please, no! You got us good this time, Zach. The the longer I stall the investigation, the lo the more richer I get. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it, man. Oh, I love this guy. Now that's heavy. Me neither. When did Becky stop coming to work? I think it was like from the day Anna was killed, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. She was she was totally depressed about something. Yeah, her Quint got called killed. for her to let us know she wasn't coming in for work. She must have been totally in shock, the poor thing. So you took the twins along to cheer her up. That's right, hon. If only I knew it would be like this, I'd have spent more time talking to her. You told me about a special secret between your children and Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. What is it? Any idea Why is my what that might be? Playing? Now that you mention it, they had a box about this size, which they said was very important. That's it. I'd like to talk to them about this in person. Here are the boys now. They went out, actually, with Mr. Kaysa. Shh. They said they were going to visit Greenvale Forest Park today. They were going to take Willie for a walk, that dog of his. Kaysen, do you know him well? Oh yeah, he's a good guy. He always brings us gifts from his road trips. The kids love him, so we let him take them out every once in a while. You know, for a little quality time with the missus. <laughs> okay, okay I understand, but the situation calls for urgency. I'll go and look for them myself. And if they come home without running into me, could you let us know? Sure, of course. I'll contact the department. <laughs> Is that, why was my life theme playing? Isaac and Isaiah aren't here. They're apparently out with Kaysen. Let's go look for them. With Kaysen? Sounds like a long story. Any ideas where to start looking? Lily told me where they went. No problem. All right, it's, it's noon, high noon, the next day. Let's get in the car. I can buy milk? That's great. I got from I got until one o'clock to solve this. And today we're stuck here having to search for lost children. They're not lost. We're the ones who are lost. And so we are, Emily. <laughs> Zach, we may as well have fun if we're getting lost. You sure know how to take your time in a time like this. <laughs> what is that smell? What is that smile, Asian York? We have to get the general bearing. I should probably gas up. Nah! I can't believe two people have been murdered in our town. And now two young children are at the center of it all. I just can't come to grips with it yet. Crime will happen wherever there are people. And that's why we have our jobs. It might be easier for you because you don't live here. These were people that I knew that were killed. And the murderer might be someone who lives here in this town. It's really depressing. I know. But someone has to bring this murder to justice. You're right. I know. But, oh, Agent York, sometimes I just think I'm not really cut out to be a cop. Not true, Emily. You have the potential to be a superb law enforcer. That's what's most important. I do? What do you mean? What do you think? A sense of justice. Justice? <laughs> I must admit, I I'm surprised to hear such a... How should I say this? Such an obvious answer. 
I thought you'd say something else. Obvious or not, I joined the FBI in order to do what's right. And that's what's important. I understand, but still, you seem... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I need some time to think. Whatever do you want to think about? Justice. I want to think about justice. In fact, she's quite the philosopher, isn't she? Then again, death makes everyone a philosopher. I guess so. Also, I'm running. I'm, I'm running, running a little low on gas. I hope I'm going the right way. Otherwise, I'd be in big ass trouble. Please tell me I'm going the right way. Please tell me I'm going the right way. Okay, good. There's no gas stations around here. Who lives here? Jim Green. <gasps> There's like three fishing spots here. Maybe a side quest? A dog? Tree of the tree of bottom. That's where she was murdered. Holy shit. Safe spot. So I just gotta go down this uh flower road. I'm glad I got at least two flares. That's what I'm gonna need when I uh when this thing eventually run out of gas. Oh, lunchtime is until one. Oh, fuck. That's not that. <clears throat> oh, that's a waterfall. That's cool. I like that. What's up, Jim Green? Thinking. Can you give me some space? Don't worry, I can look for the twins at the same time. Didn't say anything, dog. Oh, I gotta go all the way over there. It's fine, I can do that. <clears throat> oh, did I run out of gas? Nope. It's loud music. According to Lily, Isaac and Isaiah should be here. Then let's go and find them. Oh, they're there right there. I legit don't even need to find them. Hello again, Isaac and Isaiah. I hear you're teaching Willie to do tricks. What's your secret? It's easy. Really simple. If he does it right, we give him a treat. A cookie if he does it right. I see. That's gonna kill Very the dog. Good. So, tell me. It won't be a secret if we tell. I'm not telling. We promised Becky. Well, that's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Becky. I promised to get to a bad man. But I can't keep my promise if I don't know what the secret is. Do you see? They have small hands. She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. We took it to the art gallery and gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. Oh, that neck. Oh, oh, and then you met Carol on your way? Yep, I took the round thing out of my pocket and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her that we were on errand for Becky. She said she'd do it for us. <gasps> oh, we shit. We told her no, because Becky asked us, not her. We promised Becky okay, to do okay. it ourselves. Okay, 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 okay. Good. Good. 
So Becky did entrust the locket to them. And now Carol has it. Right, Kason? Huh? You were in the room when Carol took the locket back from Diane. I saw you with Diane in the art gallery that day. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, but, but I was only chatting with Diane. Oh, then Carol burst in, all angry looking. While Carol and Diane had their talk, oh, I, I just sat there like a frog. Yeah, so Carol took the locket from Diane, but that has nothing to do with me, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. But from this instant, you are now a key witness in this case. I'm afraid you can't leave town until you hear from me. What? Can you do that? This is all starting to sound a little like Alice in Wonderland. Which makes you Humpty Dumpty. Huh? Ooh, huh? Shots fired! Holy shit. Agent, you're Isaac savage. Isaac. Isaac. Thank you. I think I'll be able to keep my promise with Becky thanks to you two. How is Becky? She became the Isn't goddess she of the bathroom. Better? She'll come and help out at our store again, won't she? She'll come and play with us again, won't she? Only Boys, if you're in the bathroom. About Becky. That's right. Um, Becky is almost totally better now. But I don't think she'll be able to come and see you. I was told by Becky to keep this a secret. But she's actually a goddess of the forest. No, she's the goddess Anna. of the bathroom. I think she's going to be in the forest with Anna for a while. And, and, and cool. York just zooms off. We'll keep this a secret then, too. Wow, that's why Anna and Becky are such good friends. Okay, okay, Willie. You're happy, too, aren't you? Zach, I hope Emily doesn't end up as a forest goddess, too. <laughs> she heard that. Come on. Okay then, Zach. Let's go over what we found out oh, recently shit. about the case. First, Diane, the owner of the art gallery. She was out drinking with Nick Cormack in a bar on the night Anna died. Nick confirmed this, and so she had an alibi. But then we have what Nick's wife Olivia told us. According to Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Do you remember where that was, Zach? Ah, oh, shit. Don't make me choose, dude. The art gallery, right? That's right. The art gallery. Before entering the gallery, Diane looked back towards Olivia, almost as though she saw Olivia in the dark. Nick's behavior has also become more suspicious by the day. If Olivia is correct, then he is heavily involved in this case. But we have no conclusive evidence of that at the moment. The only thing we can say for sure is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. He has no alibi for the crime. But that fact alone means nothing. So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? Quint. That's right. It was Quint, Becky's boyfriend. Oh. He went to her house and saw the tragedy. Shit, sure. that's really sad for Quint. Now about Becky's murder. I'm embarrassed and mortified. The killer struck again while we were on the case. We found her bitten off tongue. A massive amount of red seeds that poured out of the blood and an inverted peace symbol, like the one seen at the site of Anna's murder. From the similarities, one can deduce that Anna's killer killed Becky. We also found one other important piece of evidence in Becky's room. Can you remember what that was, Zach? The letter, the notebook? Yeah. That's right. We found a sketchbook in Becky's room. She had apparently written a letter to her sister, Diane. It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heel shoes. But why? So, Miss Stiletto Heels was Becky. 
There was something else at the end of the letter. It said that she handed the locket and stiletto heel shoes to someone. Do you remember who, Zach? Yeah. That's right, Zach. I'm becoming a detective and FBI. From what Isaac and Isaiah told us. Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. They gave them to Diane themselves, as they had promised. For some reason, Carol wanted the locket. She ended up storming into the gallery to take it from Diane. And when Carol took the locket from Diane, Kaysen just happened to be there. Is Kaysen involved in this? Or was he just there by coincidence? You know, Carol. wonder what's so special about the locket, too. Yeah. Why did Carol want it so badly? Carol's mighty sus right now. The questions are mounting. Come to think of it, Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. We checked the phone records, and his call definitely came from her house. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us from the scene? But everyone is suspicious one way or another. Yeah. What should we do next, Zach? Okay, who's the most suspicious? Carol, currently. Diane? The artist lady? No, it's Nick right now. Currently it's Nick. What? No, I don't think so, Zach. He's certainly suspicious, but there is someone else at the center of this. Is it Diane? That's right. Becky's sister and Carol's enemy went to both Nick and Casey, the elegant owner of the art gallery. Okay. Zach, like that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. Wait, how? Becky entrusted Diane to find the murderer, like stop the murderer. So you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Nick and Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, we'll need you to stake out the gallery. What do you mean? Wait in the parking lot of the art gallery and tail Diane when she leaves. Damn. If she goes anywhere other than the bar, you let me know. Emily, you take the diner. Wait for Nick and tail him to the bar, too. As with George, if he goes anywhere else, then you let me know. Okay. Thomas, you keep a watch on them inside the bar. Yes, yes, I will. Good boy, Thomas. I'll be waiting in the parking lot of the bar. Once Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around the same time. Usually between 22 and 2300. Then at that time we do it, boys and girls. Starting to become a real team. I like that. That was the fastest mission I ever got to do. I'm okay with that too. Holy shit, I killed a lot of ghosts. $300. Only $100? That's okay, I'm still rich. Jackpot. Zach, we need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. Looks like we have some time to kill. All right. We can go to the diner and see how Nick and Olivia are doing. Oh, God. Oh, oh I'm at the police station. Holy shit, that's great. Okay, I'm not going to take the car just yet. I'm just going to run everywhere. Start at the diner. Start with the diner. Jason! Walking with that three frames, I see! You?
Hmm. Oh, I gotta go to the bar in like 30 minutes. <clears throat> also, I should have... Bro, with what you said, I should have said something like... You can't spell investigation and investment without invest. <laughs> or some dumb shit like that. I should have definitely said that. Olivia, I got something to say to you. <sighs> yeah, Becky died too. Let's see the menu. I, I'm hungry. Cornbread is only three dollars. Wait, 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 wait. T-bone steak, large amount of dough. Thirty-four. That's cheap, I think. Clam chowder. That's expensive. What is up with these prices, man? Chicken pot pie, large amount. Omelette containing fried rice. Ooh, that's something a Japanese would eat. Only a moderate. Onion rings. Four dollars. Three dollars. Wait, where's where's the sinner sandwich? What's the cheapest? That one. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Nom nom nom. Take it easy. Olivia, now I gotta talk to you about the case. Let's talk. After that call from Sheriff, what, Becky was killed, right? Yeah. They came home as though nothing had happened, just like normal. But that's what makes me even more scared. I feel like I'm on the verge of, of nervous breakdown. I'd be too, honestly. I swear if Nick stops me, I'm gonna be hey, pissed. I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a sh Get out of here. You're not working. I sees you, loitering. Pretending to open that fridge looking thing. <gasps> Wait, hold on. I, I wanna see if I can pick something up here. Yeah. That's right. Give me that too. Apple and Gravies. Such a strange name for a diner. But then again, this is a small town USA. Greenvale, USA. <clears throat> Where else can I go? Oh yeah, I gotta do the side mish. Uh, bro, I don't know if you were here when I did it, but I can use the cigarettes that I pick up in the game which has exactly the same effect as the Phantom Cigar from the Phantom Pain. <laughs> That's pretty human. citizens. The spotlight falls on a mere 1% of all cases. Only the weird ones. You understand all this, right, Zach? Of course I do. No matter how bizarre a crime may appear to be, at the root, there is always rage and personal interest. Right, Zach? Most people simply don't kill for pleasure. But that kind of common sense 
never applies to our investigations. Maybe we're lucky. Or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. We end up working on those cases in that 1%. Do you remember, Zach? The first case we handled, just after becoming a special agent? Now let's talk about this another time. I don't feel like it, right? Hmm? Zach, we'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Yeah, we need bar. to be at Carol's Bar at 2200. We're free until then. Alright, I'm gonna just use the washroom real quick. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. All oh, right, hold on. Let me, uh, there you go. Just a second. I'll get back on stream in just a moment. Just checking up them stats. Uh, let's see now. Streamlabs. Oh, I'm back, huh? Never mind then. Uh, let's see. Come back. Key flag. Oh, okay. Mysterious shadow. I'm so goddamn loud! Change the blood color? That's cool. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay. God damn it.
Doggo. What's up, dog? Whose car is that? Carol's car. Quite the characters characteristic of her, wouldn't you say, Zach? <clears throat> What's her license plate? I R I rate singer. Angry singer. I rate. Get it? Oh, fuck. That dog sound fucking freaks me out. But I'm not about to shoot that dog with my gun. Can I can I go in please? God damn. Hmm. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Lost 15 bucks. God damn. <clears throat> oh. Why is everything so loud now? Send it out to cleaning. Four bucks. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Hey, Thomas. <sighs> Shoot to buy a drink, buddy. Well, yeah. Stuff. Alexander, sweet cocktail that tastes like candy. Horse's neck, a cocktail made, a cocktail with lemon peel. Eh. Angel kiss, cocktail from with fresh cream. The extra. Oh, I've seen that. One. Ooh, uh, meatloaf, hell yeah. Shit's expensive, man. Mr. Leto heels. Damn. Thomas is a goodest of boys. <sighs> Fuck! <sighs> Can I talk? Nickel beer. I Wait, she stopped singing? I'm gonna talk. I want to talk to you. <sighs> That's a beautiful song. No matter how many times I hear it, it's still beautiful. You made me forget the case for a moment there, <clears throat> and just forget it all together and get out of town. Why don't you? Oh shit! I might bring an end to to the murders too. Wow. What makes you think that? Oh, no reasons really. A hunch then, is it? Without a solid reason. Or do you know something about the killer? You tell me. I could be trying to mess up your investigation because I hate you. Well, at least she's very upfront about it. Dumb bitch. Alright, time to use my cigarette. The power of cigarettes. I got 20 of these things? Awesome. So loud. 
completely restores pulse rate and it keeps it low for long. That's good to know. A cookie. Whoa. Why did the volume get louder? Thomas, I need to talk to you. Wait, hold on. Let me go outside and try again. Let's get back in there. Thomas, where's the sus guy? <sighs> Alright. Zack, looks like we still have some time to kill. Let's pass the time elsewhere. Alright. <clears throat> time to go smoke for an hour. My lungs are gonna be charred with carcinogens. time. Nick's still in the bar. Just as we planned then. I wonder what happens next. I gotta shave. Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy that. Jittering like crazy. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, fuck. What about Diane? She isn't here tonight. Emily, check that with George. George, can you hear me? Nick's leaving the bar. What's happening with Diane? No movement. Tell me what to do here. Stay put, George. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. 10 4. Copy that. Agent York, it's Nick. Really? I better put on my raincoat. Who? Wait, do people do that? Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Okay. Time to play with the big boys. Do do people put their hands in their butt pocket when they walk? Oh, I gotta trail them. Shit. Okay. I'm 
probably, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail if I, uh, yeah, if I'm too close or too far. This is a classic chase mission. <coughs> I'd like to talk about movies while I'm chasing down Nick, nice and slow. Definitely don't run the, run the sirens. I don't think he heard me. Oh, shit. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Trailing mission in this game, that's crazy. Crazy cool. It's like 11 at night, too. What the hell? Is this the end of the game? Am I just gonna straight up find out who the murderer is? And is it gonna be Nick? Uh, this trailing mission is forcing me to be a good driver. Why is he driving? Oh, because there's another car right in front of me. Mm. Pain in the butt. Sweet ass time to get to the art gallery thanks to the guy in front of Nick. Not Nick specifically. Oh, whoops. 
Alright, we're getting close to the art gallery then. Wait, did I... did I mess up? Okay. Oh shit, you look serious. Oh my god! I almost died! Halos by now, if I was driving. <sighs> I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. <sighs> Agent York, Nick's getting away. Don't worry, time to get serious. Hold on, you two, this might get bumpy. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, I thought he was gonna take a detour. So there's a tree in the middle of the road, basically, on the side of the road. Oh my god, look at George with that solid frames. Is Nick here? George. No, he hasn't showed up here. Maybe. What about died. Diane? Any movement? No action here at all. Did something happen? Yes, a little. But George, something's different about you. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. God damn it, George. This is my first murder case, after all. I'm on edge. I need it. It was only a little, though. I'm still in control. <laughs> What's up with that zoom to his face? Okay, we're back in the goddamn art gallery. Round two, huh? <laughs> Zach, Nick and Diane are probably both inside. George. You're sure you didn't see Nick? Positive. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. Not that I don't trust you, George. But I'm positive Nick is here. Is there another entrance? Yeah, maybe there was another entrance. Not that I know of. George, the long way sus. One. Help me out if you can, would you? Five. Oh, it, it's midnight. Okay. All right, Thomas Lily. Oh my God, I got my FBI poncho. Hell yeah. Well, if Nick was headed anywhere, it was anywhere it was here.
on yachts. Oh! Oh! Ghosts! Oh, ghosts! More ghosts! He's got a gun! Drop the weapon! Stop resisting! Drop the weapon! Oh god, there's another one. Oh, that is unfair! Holy shit, okay. Clip him in the shoulder! Shot. Bullseye. Yes. Grab the gun! Damn it! God, he's coming. He's coming at me backwards. Nice shot. Nice shot. Yes. This lock's on the other side. Oh! Sh ghosts. Ghost! Amazing. Ghosts! Oh, the water is legit just blocking my shots. What? Alright. Alright, so are you gonna turn around to face me or? Yeah. I wonder if I can beat this game by not killing anybody. More onions? Holy shit, infinite onions. Onions. Oh, there's only two. Never mind. Oh, never mind. There's infinite onions. Thomas! Oh, you guys totally missed me shooting, it, like, ghost monsters. Hello, FBI? I'd like to save the game, please. ghost come and get me all right George I'll bring him to you take the shot oh there's an invisible wall for that. that's unfortunate bullseye. George doesn't see me shoot these ghosts amazing bullseye bullseye the shot Stop teleporting. Okay, 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 okay. You leave me no choice but to use my secret invisible wall strat. Bullseye. 
Holy shit, how many of these guys are there? Oh, this one's got a torch. The Lee's got a shotgun! Great. Bullseye. Nice shot. Oh god, he's on fire now! Holy shit, that's scary. 10 mils. Another 10 mils. Great. Bullseye. No Great. wonder the ghost doesn't have these shotguns. She has the wrong ammunition type. Bullseye. Yes. Holy shit, how many of these ghosts are there? Don't make me shoot you. I'm shooting your butt, you can't stop me. First aid. Bullseye, bullseye, amazing. I swear, if these guys surround me, I'm gonna be pissed. God, there's one spawn right in front of me. Great. Amazing. 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 Yes. Bullseye. Oh my god, guys. Nice shot. Nice shot. Bullseye. Nice shot. Nice shot. What the fuck? What hit me? Oh shit, she's got a gun! I got one too! Yeah, that! Gosh, she's gonna shoot me! Take cover! Oh god, there's too many. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Time for me to patch myself up. Okay, this game just got really hard. And I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna eat this lollipop. I'm gonna try to speed run through them. Just run past them. Excuse me, pardon me coming through. Apparently, I'm outnumbered a million infinite to one, so. I'm gonna reload my gun and keep running. If that's the first aid, thank you very much. I got places to be, me to see. Where's the way? Where's the way? Oh god. Uh. Oh god, she's charging up her gun. Dip and dodge. Okay, good. Okay, 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 okay. Shoot them faster, Agent York. went to them. Oh god, there, there's one right behind me. Okay, 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 okay. Bait, 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 bait. It's getting scary. They didn't show their spawn point, so I don't know where they come from. I don't know where they're coming from. So there's a card near here? Oh, it must be on the other side. Worth it, worth it. God, don't charge up your gun. Thank you. Oh, God. Keep running, keep running. Oh, God. Whew. You almost shot me. Oh, thank you for breaking the door, by the way. Appreciate that. Nick Cormack. Son of a bitch. God, she's got a gun! Gun! No agent honor? Damn it. 
Shortcut. Agent York, we're a little bit busy right now, so, uh... There are still monsters outside. Or ghosts. Spooky go- <gasps> Basement. I can still hear the ghosts. Oh! That's so scary. I thought that was the ghost. Emily, I want you guys to- Wait out here, I know. I'm not gonna fight you about this anymore. But, promise me this. If there's trouble, then you'll call us in, okay? You might not think so, but we're a team. A team? That's what I think, at least, and... I'm interested in you and Zack. I don't want anything to happen to you before I hear more about you two. Where can I get a 12 gauge 12 gauge shotgun? Oh, okay. That's him breathing out. <laughs> Zach, did you hear that? She wants to know more about you. But what did you want to Isn't know? Isn't that a nice surprise? Amazing. That's what he was worried, like, focused on, not the case. I'd like to say, please. Ring, ring. Hello? Here we go. Here ghosts. Is it around the corner? Oh. Why did dodge? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay, okay. Yes, amazing. Shoot her in the butt. Corners. Take the corners. Okay, there's a uh, something there. Oh, mission knife. Yes. Damn it. Yes. The big ass knife. I like that. I wish I had more space. I'm not even peeking the- Why are there blood on the ceiling? Why are there blood on the ceiling? Who spilled ketchup on the ceiling? It came through the vent. Are there new monsters? Oh, that guy looks dapper AF. That smile, though. Pale portrait of on a red, red background greeting us with a creepy smile. Alright, well, that's, that's what you think, Agent York. What's that sound? What's that sound? Seriously, what's that sound? I'm not playing. Oof, I wanna cr crouch down a little bit. I have a gun. Okay. Okay, this is kinda scary. Okay, this is kinda scary. Okay. I don't, I don't want this. Don't want creepy sound. 
Oh god, new monsters. I mean, new ghosts. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> What's the art gallery? Always is worn down. Hmm? Hit Y to dodge. Or just shoot the perp. Oh my god! It's climbing on the ceiling. That's kind of scary. That's kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Holy shit. Oh! Oh, please stop. That's gross. Oh god. Lock on to him, R2. Just shoot it until it goes away. Oh my god. Uh, uh, it's invisible. Run. Shoot this thing. Oh god. Reload. Evade! Lock on to him, R2! Oh! Oh boy! How do I get out? Get him off me! Get him off me! Get him off! Okay, I guess I'm running. Oh, I gotta kill this thing in here? Alright. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna pull out the big guns. Fucking gun him down! Mm. Evade! Holy shit, is this like a boss fight? Evade! Evade the Rona! Reload! Evade! Where is it? Please just die! Did I kill it? Oh my god, thank god. That's scary. Holy shit. That was genuinely creepy. Holy fuck. I really hope I don't have to deal with that ghost ever again, honestly. I had to even bust out the big guns for that thing. Okay, I came through here. Okay. Oh god, there's more. There. Oh. Yo, my I in IRL heartbeat's going up. Okay, I came through here? No, I gotta climb up. Get me out of here, Mr. Wizard. No time to sleep right now. But I do have to take this small first aid meds. And some cookies. Oh, sugar donuts. Never mind. Tuh. I'd like to say, please. Okay. I'd like to administer first aid, please. Can't believe I have to do it in the menu, too. Uh, first aid. Help myself up. Gotta reload. Here we go. What's behind this door? Okay, there's a creepy ass painting. Is that the original? Why the dodge? Oh my god. Apples! They're all carrying apples! This is the entrance hall. What high charity happened here? <laughs> uh. 
Start profiling. I gotta not get too excited for profiling. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you, what are you doing here? Oh. oh no, oh no. So it was you. Oh no. Much more astonishing than I imagined. I'm impressed. Oh shit, that's Diane. No, don't. And the killer is here too. Oh my god. So dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. You got dragged off? <clears throat> That's how I breathe out too. Make mouth sound with my nose. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. How many puzzle? How, how many pieces? Here we. Let me just reload. I'm spooked. I'm genuinely spooked. I'll say it. Put down. Wait, what? Put down what? Master key. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So I need to put down the right clue on top of this little pedestal thing. Okay. Well, Diane's also dead, so is Becky. Okay. Those paintings were not there. Oh my god, that's a ghost. Ghost! No? Oh, I'm kind of getting spooked right now. I'll say it. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> Apples! Oh, I gotta shoot them off. If I, I swear if I, wait, what? Come on. Can I lock on? No. Damn it. Okay. Let's grab this ripe apple. Oh, I gotta do it, do all of it within the time limit? Well, I'm on, I'm on the clock then. Green apple, okay. Quickly, quickly! Where's the third piece? Oh, there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh god, the tree shriveling! Red apple, okay. Okay, now I gotta hurry. Ah, fuck. Sprint, Agent York! Up the stairs! That whole baby's holding the green apple? Okay, oh my god, the fucking clock is counting down as I'm putting down it during a cutscene. God damn it. Okay, where's the third one? Okay, 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 okay. Come on, game, don't keep that noise. Oh my god, I could hear when the loop starts to happen. Uh, red, ra red apple. Okay, where's the third piece? Holy shit. Uh, where did you go? Oh god, am I gonna die? Oh, please, please. Where's the old dude? There he is! Quickly, quickly! I'm on borrowed time! Oh, thank god. Oh no! It's gonna start spawning the ghost. Please don't tell me it's infinite. God damn it, they're coming out of the pictures now. Stop mumbling, man. Oh no, it's a picture of a ghost with a golf club! Put down your weapon! Put down your weapon! 
Put down the weapon! <laughs> Put down the weapon! Yes. Amazing. Yes. I'm sure there's one up top too. Yeah, I see it. Oh no, and one here too? Stop resisting! Amazing. Groaning and moaning. Think about not being one to be shot. Okay, go, 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 go. She's got a gun! Weapon! Gun! Put down the weapon! Hey, Red Sea. A new gun? Damn it. Nice. Jackpot. Okay, the tree's shriveled up now. Gotta reload my gun. Red Seeds. Clue himself in the case. Poor file. Late. You? What are you doing here? So it was you. Is it Nick? Is he sus? Got stabbed. Wait, who's that? Just straight up disappeared. I'm okay with that. Get me in there. Oh my god. Red vines are entangled around the guiding rope. No go for sure. I could just probably just hop over it. Oh god, blocks blotches on the ground. It's a spawning pool. First aid? Hell yes, please. Oh, this thing's made of invincible. I don't have a seat. It's getting, it's getting kind of scary. Oh, okay. Back off, you filthy ghost. Great. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Great. Keep shooting. Amazing. Hey, a clue. Key, special key. Or a key to special exhibition room. Holy shit. Couldn't read that to save my life. Nice shot. Nice shot. Bullseye. Spawning.
running. Probably shouldn't try to get in there. Okay. talking about oh god I hear ghosts stop resisting yes 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 bullseye they shot great I need that pipe give me that pipe Right, I killed. Wait, how do I use the key? Okay. Oh, that's where it is. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Use that special key. Open the aluminium door handle. Can door handles. <gasps> Stiletto heels. The second broken one. So who was it? You? What are you doing here? So it was you. Much more astonishing than I imagined. I'm impressed. No! Don't! I'm not even gonna stop! Ah! Oh god. Okay, hold on. Who is that? Who is that? Was it Quint? So, it looks like somebody somebody was wearing a vest. way opened it was one of the doors with the vines but I don't know which one was it this one <gasps> I can get out now right wait no I can't what the hell it's locked is that Aurora Borealis happening behind the door? Okay, I came through there. That's definitely not the place to go. It's not through there. Is that is it here? That's a real fake door. That's my only way right now, huh? It's not these doors. Ghost! Amazing. Great. Great. Oh god, these, these things take more shots now.
Uh. Agent Honor. Okay. Wait, I've been through here. What the hell? Where do I go now? Oh god, ghosts! Back off! Yes. Oh, ghosts! Oh, ghost! Great. Move him with the shoulder. He doesn't like it when I do it. Oh god! There's another one right there. Come on! Just put him down. Oh god, ghosts! Oh god, there's another one. There's too many of them, Chief. Amazing. Mills? Where do I go? There's another one. Oh! Oh my god! Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Speed crawl, Agent York! Back off! Step off! Step off! Shoot faster, Agent York! Shoot Bullseye. faster! Bullseye. Nice shot. Great, great. Red vines are entwined around the locking device. Doesn't seem to be working, Zach. <gasps> the basement. Oh god, I don't remember it being this... I think actually it was that big. Okay, I can open this door. That's a real fake door. Only one way. Oh my god, they're all of them here. They're all here. Can I open these? Oh, it's, it has a curse. Hang on. Seal curse. How ridiculous. I can't... Wait. Do I just go through? No, I gotta slay all the ghosts here. God, they take more shots now. Bullseye. Amazing. Oh god, he was trying to take a swing at me. Oh no, you don't. Keep shooting! This game's scary. Why is it scary now? Why is this one red? Oh, okay, I can just turn them on. Turn them on now. It's a round table of some. Oh, okay. How far can you? No, not that far. <clears throat> it's a peace sign! Time for the final, uh, final profiling of this dungeon. They're all red, too. You? What are you doing here? So it was you. Much more astonishing than I imagined. Who is that? I'm impressed. They got like a bob cut. Okay, I just gotta. Oh my god, I think it is George. Holy shit! No, 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 no. It's not. It can't be. Unless the unless the killer is wearing like a wig.
Who has a haircut like that? Oh, oh my god, not again. Don't make me bust out the big gun, I'll swear I'll do it. In the name of Gog, I'll do it. Give me something good. No. Give me something good. First aids? Anything? Give me something good. Please? Can I hide in these? I'll just get stuck though. <gasps> wait, 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 go back, go back! 10 mils? Ah, damn it. Can I get like a turkey sandwich or something in here? In an art gallery storage container? Oh, hell yeah. After that kerfuffle, I'm gonna need all the health kits I can get. Let's climb down. Oh, I thought that was a ghost. Oh no, it's a save point. I have to spend a dollar to do it too. go No, not the golf club, just a steel pipe. Agent Honor? And first aid? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, not like this! Oh god. I am not afraid to use my big guns on you. Where's the ghost? Worst ghost. Oh god, don't reload now. Evade! Did I kill it? Oh, thank god. I think eats bullets like it's nobody's business. Holy smokes. Now I'm gonna need those 10 mils. Wait, 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 wait. Do they disappear? Oh, no, 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 no. It shouldn't. Right? Right? Oh, thank fuck. Okay. I need more 10 mils anyway. Okay, no more ceiling ghosts, please. I'd like to handle just regular ghosts. No! <laughs> 
Evade! Why'd you be that way? Interrupt! Just gonna see what it does first. Please just die! Evade! Oh, thank God. I had to use up a lot of ammunition for that thing. Wait, I think I'm going the right, wrong way. God, every time I... Oh, no. This is the right way, then. I swear, if that just respawns the ghost, the ceiling ghost, the, the hallway ghost... Oh, my God! Stop, ghost! Stop! Please! Fade. Ghost, please! She doesn't have a head headshot hitbox. Keep shooting her, she doesn't like it when I do it. Evade. There you go. See, that's like the right evasion. Should be the left. Oh, thank God she died. Oh, thank goodness. I hate those ghosts. Medium health kit, first aid kit. Please, no more of those. Swery, I know you want to show. Oh! They're regular ghosts, thank goodness. Oh. Yes, they shot. Yes. Great. Okay, I can deal with these ghosts. What the hell was that? Okay. Anything? <gasps> Donuts! Boxes. Okay, I can climb out of there. But first. Nice. Give them <gasps> first aid large jackpot. Hell yeah. An agent honor. Oh my god. The way his waist just twists 90 degrees. What a thrill. The oh, okay. I need to shave. Stock up. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Let's put away items. Oh, panda bear. That's the weapons guy. I am guy. Weapons guy. Uh, long, long. Speed medium. Both medium. This does high. Oh, this is, this is a better, um... Better golf club or better, better rusty pipe. Right? 
I should say. Oh no. No. Yay. So loud, dude. Let's take the item out. Damn it. Oh, I'm going to definitely save. Hello, room service? I'd like to save the game, please. Wait, what? Oh. Let me out of here. Oh, what the hell? What do I do? Oh. Ugh. What a thrill. The darkness and silence of the night. We're back to the regular place now. Hmm? Nick. What the hell? Oh, he's alive. Hmm. It's damn chain too. Better off as one of the ghosts. Huh? <gasps> oh, there's blood. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, she's more alive than Becky and Anna was. Agent hey, Morgan, where are you? Answer me! Come on. Open up! Alright guys, whatever you do, don't look up. And George, whatever you do, don't cut the wires. Diane? George, call for assistance with the body. Wait! She's still alive. Don't! She's gonna get impaled. Diane, don't move. Don't move her hands and stay still. Stand back. Come on, George, you work out, buddy. Do it. Wait, wait, wait. Would that fuck her up? Oh, no! Press buttons. George, catch us. Catch both of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got to see. That's insane, holy shit. Oh my god, his tie's clipping through the ground. Thomas, call an ambulance. What? A what? Agent York, George, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I think I'm too old to be an acrobat, though. Diane looks okay, too. Uh, she should be able man. to tell us who did this to her. God, I hope so. But you, George, quite a catch. I'm impressed. Hmm? What's with those eyes? Oh, yeah, there was Nick. George? Uh... <laughs> 
Wait, what? What's happening? Oh. Oh, what the hell? Diane. Oh, girl, what a beautiful place. The reason why we feel off is huh? many directions. Combination of soft voices, not the way, interrupting us. We find a truly deep eroticism in all who create. Every woman will find her value about being penetrated by those sharp boys. This piece of most unimaginable society. And yet, this is far more than a word of piece of art. It is a piece of magazine by Alan McDonald's and Clark. Tom Broker, very Oh my god, Nick is dead. Diane! Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Huh. Back off! Uh, Don't touch me! Uh, oh! I requested Amy. Thomas will need a body bag, too. <laughs> Nick, quiet. Can you hear that? Hmm? Oh. What the hell? Oh my god, way to fucking kill the moon. Oh my god, that dog just clipped through the tree. Where did he get that scar? I don't remember him having that scar. Hmm. I think he wants us to follow him. Shall we follow Zach? Absolutely. Holy shit. That was quite the turn of events. Keep an eye on George and Nick. We still might need, we might still need it. Make sure no one touches Diane's body either. Snap out of it, Thomas. Still feel her hand. At least okay, just try to stay calm. I'm going after I'm just going I'm going after Willie. You take it easy here, okay? Oh York. Damn. Damn it! And then the dog clipped through. Okay. Diane, we did what we could, but we still lost her. It wasn't all your fault, George. 
I'll go see what Willy and Willy wants to show us. I'll leave the rest here to you. Yes, okay. Where did that scar come from? I don't remember having that scar. Hold on. No, I need to talk to Nick! That son of a gun! Zack, Willy is calling for us. Yeah, I know, fine. Talk to him later. God, we're going back in there. What is it, boy? What do you smell? You just want to see the art gallery? What is it, boy? What do you smell? Go get him, boy. Get him, Willie. What is it, boy? What do you smell? Get him, boy. <coughs> Find the murderer. Let's go, boy. Wait, what? I thought I was seeing rain. Wait, what? We're going back in here. Okay, boy. We're I'm sure the door is still open. What is it, boy? What is it, Willie? The office room. Really? There you are. So she was a drinker. What is it, Willie? What do you smell? You, you, you want me to sleep? You want me to explore? <gasps> oh! A secret passage? <clears throat> Yo, Forrest, Forrest is the killer. Willie, are you out there? Wait, what? Jason, what are you doing in there? York, is that you? Thank God, I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it from your side? Jason, stand away from the door. <laughs> Should've said that before you shot. A kiss mark? Where's Diane? And what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, let's just say I have my reasons, you know, pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. What? You're not just a key witness now. 
You're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Well... Oh, he's gonna fall. I just... I just came here to talk with Diane. To have a conversation. And I suppose that kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. This was just a spur-of-the-moment thing. Which is exactly what killed Diane. Okay, okay. I came here to be with Diane. You happy now? We've been together before, a, a, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? This time is no different. I, I, I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some, some holiday coming up. Well, so, so I just took it and I drove her back here. I have a wife, you know, but, but we've been separated for a while. We're going through a divorce right now, and I don't want her lawyer finding out. Anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? Two hours ago, me and Diane, we were taking it easy, drinking upstairs. We were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Then Nick had to show up. Well, then Diane had a sudden change of heart. She locked me up in here. I've just been here, waiting for her to come back, of course, but, but she didn't. I heard footsteps a couple of times, but they just passed by. Well, then I couldn't wait anymore, so I let Willie here out through the window. Then you showed up instead of Diane. Zach, Diane has become the third victim of our killer. And nada from questioning Nick. Nothing. Got no new leads from questioning Nick. He's taken the death of Diane really badly. In shock, the works. He claims to have liked talking with her about art. But he also had a problem with her views about men. He says that they argued, but not at a level that would lead to a murder. They were about to head out to the bar again together. But while he was waiting for Diane, someone knocked him out cold. He has no idea who it was, either. Of course, Kaysen looks like a prime suspect. But that door was locked from the outside. There was no other way in or out of that room which means there is no evidence of his involvement at this time. He did say something else. The footsteps he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. And Nick was wearing boots. But now that Diane's dead, no one can back up Nick's statement, which is why we have Nick in custody and have to let Kaysen go free. That seemed like the only option, at least for now. One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. I guess this case is really getting to him. He's feeling responsible for the death of Becky and Diane. Take his rules and confidence away from him? I wonder what's left. Well, of course, he'd still have muscle. Holy shit, that's actually intense. Alright, um, I've been streaming about for three hours, so I'm going to find the next save point and call off the stream there. All right, got paid $300. I am rich. Holy shit. Oh, wait, never mind. Well, next save point. We'll do a little sneak peek of what's to come. Dude, Thomas's biscuit is OP. It's still raining. Oh man, the killer's still out Zach, there. Now. Let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Agent Morgan, York. I Do you have raining. a moment? What is it, George? Where's the scar? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? 
Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. Zack, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Was it? Yeah. Alright, good job. Proud of you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go for a drink. I want to see what George has to say about this. Past. George, that scar on your cheek. Where did yeah. you get it? And when did this happen? I don't this? remember. This. Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. Damn, George. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. Damn, George. I didn't know. York. I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me, both Becky and Diane would oh, still be alive. On, George. I could have saved them both. Come on, buddy. Don't do that now. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. Yeah. I invited you to this bar for a drink. Snap out of but it. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber. And I wanted you to listen. And to tell you. Well, you must already hate me for causing all these problems, not following your orders. York, I'm sorry. I'll follow your orders from now on. You'll have my total cooperation. 
George. You've been as cooperative as you can be. Yeah. You even invited an FBI guy to a bar for drinks. You've done a good job protecting this town. Yeah. And the folks here respect you for that. Nobody can blame you for anything. Thanks. I do feel a little better. Since we're here, why don't you talk to a few other people? I'll just finish off my drink. Let me know before you leave, okay? Sure thing, George. You're a good guy. A lot of baggage on him. When they say few people, I mean just Carol. Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. Diane, too. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. Nick didn't do it. I know. Carol, you took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. It's a blank. Oh. You gotta flip it to shore, York. I'm busy, gotta go. She's also wearing, wearing stilet- what the fuck? What's with the way she walks? That's not how you, uh, walk in heels. Pretty sure she's the murderer. on his eyes. Who's this? Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. Oh, it's Carol. Zack. Oh, Emily? Emily is already a goddess of the forest. Holy oh, shit, she's dressed, dressed to impress? Let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? York? Why is she here? I just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. Is this a problem? No, of course not. Pardon me, Emily, but I'm pooped. I think I'll just call it a night. George, I just got here and you're walking out on me? I was
was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. What about Thomas? I'm afraid I've already had enough. And I already had a good man-to-man -man with York. So I'll see you guys. I think George likes you, but he's avoiding you all at the same time. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. It's a thing of the past. Just having a little heart-to-heart -heart with everybody. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. He did ask me out when I first came to town. I was still in high school. But I never really considered him my type. And there's the age gap thing, too. I respect him, of course. I wouldn't have taken this job. I yeah, synchronized drinking. So, did you move to this town alone? Of course not. I came with my parents. Tell me about them, then. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. He was hardly at home when I was a kid, always working. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much of him. My mother? Totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. She was always kind and understanding. Not only that, but she would always help me find my way. She could be fierce, too, scolding me if I took a wrong step. We had our battles, sure, but... All in all, she was a wonderful mother. Past tense? Yeah, she's gone now. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. She gave this to me just before she died. I take it with me wherever I go. It's what I treasure most. A golden leaf. I'm sure she's very proud of you. I had a good time tonight. Good night. See you tomorrow. York. Yes. Please don't lie to us, okay? I won't. Don't worry. I won't. Okay, that's it. I'm going to save and call off the stream. Holy shit, that was quite the turn of events. I've learned a lot, and George is a lot less sus. Gotta tell you. With that said, um, whoever's pay tuning in, hope you had a fun time as much as I sure did. Uh, and I'll catch you sometime next week. I'm not too sure when I'm going to stream, but you'll see me when I get there, I guess. With that said, I'll see you guys next time. Post stream and mute.